So, what is up, everybody? Here we are with race three of Trust Pro Series 4 at Phoenix Raceway. Now, if you guys seen how uh, Phoenix, these Phoenix races go on this channel, you know, it'd be really chaotic, but hopefully that doesn't happen today. Oh, man, who am I kidding? <laughs> it's going to happen. The question is, when is it going to happen? But anyways, let's get into top five of the points that he's coming into this race as Evan Carlson is the points leader with his teammate Randy Beans. His guy, Randy, I think Carlson's the leader of his team, by the way, like, uh, Randy Beans in second, only one point below. Now, it's only been two races, so it'll easily change. It's 14 races long, but we'll see what happens starting this season as Finelli is third with six points back, same as Joshua Brown. I think they're teammates as well for Skylar Taylor Motorsports. Skylar Taylor's team has been doing good, too, along with Michael Hoax, seven points behind. And the rest of the points is actually really close, too, so, you know. That could easily change as this goes on. Same cars as last time, basically same lineup. But for those new, let's take a look at a starting lineup for this race. All right, so let's take a look at a starting lineup for this race. So on the pole we have Avon Murray of Skylar Taylor Motorsports, alongside the points leader Evan Carlson. So hey, Prime Hydration is working for him. Look at that. Row two has got Skylar Taylor alongside her teammate Joshua Brown. Then row three's got Michael Hoax alongside Row Carlos. Row four has got Kane Lemon alongside Jazz Lee. And row five got the Kukowster, Karsa Kukowski, that Red Lobster Machine, alongside uh, Satsuki Himigari. And then behind him is last race winner, Hana Kanako, alongside the 63 of Max Coast. Then we got Connor Lemon alongside Sonic Gearson. Then we got uh, the Nathan H. Titanman, alongside Anthony Finale. Sorry if I butchered that. My throat. Then we got Joseph Wilson alongside the 78 of Josh Harmon. Then we got the uh, 5 of Louis Rodriguez alongside Josh Lee. Then we got Unofficial Joe alongside Damien Kyle Wood of Josh Lee Motorsports. Then we got Randy Beans who won at Daytona. Alongside the 67 of Justin Jarrett Perez. Who I think has one win. As far as I know, yeah. Eric Monaco, alongside the leader of the Empire, Colin Cropley. Then behind them is Stephen Waters and 55 of Trey Scott. Then behind them is William Donuts, alongside the 14 of Casey Biesco. Then we got Christian Bracken and the 20. I almost said 90. I don't know why. 20. Alongside Nathaniel Newman. Then we got the 11 of Mr. Hodak alongside John Ryan. And around at the field here is the 10 of Antonio Gomez of Josh Lee Motorsports. Let's see how this race turns out today. Alright, here is the race summary going to the start of this race. 35 cars, 47 laps, just like Season 3. And see how this goes. Heading to the green flag. Ava Murray. All right, after the point, getting that speed so far. Wow, off to the sense already. Which, in this race, now the package has been adjusted a bit. But from what I heard, it hasn't been adjusted too much. So there still might be some chaos that ensues. And oh boy, they are already like three wide behind them. Keeping it clean so far, at least. But my goodness. Like, you gotta look out, because they can get crazy. They're going three wide for second. Well, they were, but that just changed. With the 27. Oh, boy. Yeah, that inside lane, they get quite the... It's like, almost like, not really a boost, but it's like... They carry a lot of speed going and entering the turns. And it throws off the guys who are on the outside. Especially when they're basically stuck out there. I think that's what causes a lot of crashes. Especially when they're going th these guys are forcing three wide. Which, oh boy, Joshua Brown got stuck back there in a three wide situation. And in turn three, uh oh, it's getting tight back there with Monica. Oh, Jazz Lee got forced up to the outside. Nothing she could do about it. Yeah, she's stuck in the outside lane near the wall. The 26 of Murray is just off to set it. I think it helps that he's not really being contested here. The rest of these guys are they're dealing with. These guys coming up on the inside, creeping up on them. Josh Lee got into sort of rubbing doors with Skylar Taylor there. 
And I think that's what's... That's what could cause the... Oh, boy! BS... The Forza and Biesco got shoved... Oh, no! What back on track? Big cause a big crash! Seven, eight cars! More involved! Oh, no! The 78 of Harmon flipped over! First race winner, Rennie Bean's involved in this. Water's involved. I know Gearson got a piece of it. Donuts probably got a piece of it. John Ryan, I can't tell. Okay, these guys can't... Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, they almost lost it there. Okay, now I can say, yeah, these guys pretty, pretty much stay out of trouble going to the yellow. Let's get a replay on what ha Wait, where is everybody? Uh, Tyneman... By the way, they phased through. I don't know what's up with him. He's just broken. Something's up with Tideman. For Colin Cropley. Oh, he's staying out. I was trying to debate. Wow, Biesco damage. Let's see the replay. Alright, here's what happened to Biesco. I still want to saw it. Yeah. Oh, oh. So he got pressure up by Kukowski. Oh, no. Oh, I see what happened. We have to slow it down. And, oh, Donuts and Bracken got into it. From what I saw. Biesco went up at Kukowski. Kukowski went down. Forced Biesco down as Hodak got into the back of Biesco. Now, thankfully, Biesco saved it there. But by the time he gathers it back up and tries to rejoin the pack, there's already three wide going on between Donuts, Gearson, and Wood. And he's just stuck there. Yeah, that does not work. He just slides up into Hodak. Oh, I don't think that was intentional either. He just did. Oh, man, he was late to join. He joined back in the pack at the worst time. And someone lost the 18 locks of control in front of Bracken. And then Bracken went up in the donuts up there. We're going to have to ch take a look at that in a second. Here's Tideman. See what happened. That crash happened. Oh, these. I don't know what happened. What the what? Not sure what happened to Waters and. Oh, jeez, 78. Not sure what happened to Waters and Tideman. I don't know. Must hit some sort of debris. Seeing Bracken's view. As they go down. Tideman, Waters lose control. And Cropley. Whoa, look at Cro Cropley. Avoids completely. Look at that. Same for unofficial Joe. Props to them. But Gomez and Harmon. Oh, they just stacked up. Trying to get around Waters. Or trying to slow down for Waters. And that's how Harmon flipped over. Seven, here's 72's view. As it happens, yeah, they just stack up. And then the 78, yeah, small rollover. Yeah, it's like I said before. Just, uh, stacked up in front of him, man. I don't know what to tell you. Alright, here's a top five. Going to restart. Even Murray, you stay out of trouble the whole time. Basically because, yeah, she, he was up front. So, like, you know, not if it was happening with him. So Joseph Wilson and, uh... Jared Perez. That's a Toyota top three right there. With Connor Lemon in that Dodge in fourth. Looks like she has some hood damage? Unless I'm just seeing things. No, no, maybe it's the angle. They, these guys are bumping around a lot. And they're already, oh man, they're already starting to form up in packs. And the 26 already falling behind. No, no problem with how long this race is. I'm not sure how long they'd want to be up front, you know? But then again, they'd stay out of trouble. But then again, the chances of all these cautions... I don't know. I'm not sure what would be the best strategy for these guys. Oh, three wide in turn three. Oh, four, five wide! Oh, jeez, Murray's in the wall! I'm not sure what that was. They went four, five wide. Oh, Connor almost wiped out my Taylor. Oh my, they got really aggressive. I, I do not know what to say about that. They got really aggressive back there. Like, oh boy! There's a lot of activity in midfield. And Murray's stuck back there. Oh no! Involved in a crash! Caden Lemon involved! How many? Oh, jeez. That's a tough break. Dude, Murray just was falling back. Okay, we're gonna look at that restart. We're gonna check out what? We're gonna check out. Where do we look? Okay, here's about lap 40 accident. They're going like three wide here. Then they went four wide going to turn three. Or no, Kanako forced four. Oh, jeez, Kanako forced four wide. And that caused the other guys to check up into Murray. As soon as Murray, Murray lost like five positions from that alone. 
And then coming out of turn two, I think. No, here? No, actually, no. It's the next, next turn. He's all the way back here. Three. Oh, snap. Hulk almost got wiped out by Carlos. Then they're going three wide. Joe, what the? What was Joe doing? Unofficial Joe just wiped the heck out of him. Oh, that unofficial Joe. You're going three, four wide. Was he trying to. Oh, jeez. I think he, he, I think he was trying to go with the pack. And it just did not work. He just. He cleared. I think he just cleared himself in front of those guys. He just sent it. Joe just went up. I think he was trying to go with Trey Scott. He's trying to follow him. But just was blind to Rodriguez and Lemon being there. And then oh, Nathaniel Newman gets into Joe. Cropley narrowly avoids another act. Dude, what is up with Cropley today? He's avoiding everything. John Ryan's view. Yeah, like, I don't know what Joe was doing, but he just got into him. All right, top five going to restart. Perez in the lead. Kanako second. Monaco's a lap down. Taylor's fourth. And, oh boy. Himigari fifth. And Himigari already making moves. Monaco's a lap down. I don't know. Oh, well, he seems to have the speed. He's on pace with him at least. So he won't be a hindrance. But he's going to get swallowed up by these guys. It's Kanako. Ducking. Going down low. Uh-oh. Three wide. No, Perez can't seem to get around... Monaco, what is going on back there? Josh Lee up into the wall. Lost like five positions. Or someone, yeah, I think it was Josh Lee. Lost like five positions. I don't know what happened. Let's move down, uh, back up here. There's a lot of activity battling for second here. Monaco stuck in the middle of it all as he's a lap down. Going three wide, coming out of turn four. Can he keep it clean? Oh, boy. Joseph Wilson is there, stuck between them. He's stuck between, oh, he's stuck between, oh, no. This is a scary situation, almost three, four wide. Oh, man. Oh, my, yeah, Coast and Scott all over each other for, like, eighth. About. Oh, snap, and there they go. Big crash. And, oh, somehow no one else is, oh, never mind, whoa. Lemon slides in late. Oh, no. What on earth? Just looking around. Nah, that's it. Ah, oh, he missed pit road. What happened? Ah, oh, I had a feeling someone was gonna slide in late. I that was. And look like Lemon was already off pace with the rest of them. Oh man, did he wash up the track? Yeah, it's like I knew something bad was gonna happen. They're all over each other. Hit like close to Trey Scott especially. Look at this. Hey, oh, he just kept washing. What was Coast doing? It's like, I think Coast is trying to, like, force Monaco up to, oh, jeez. I think he was trying to force, oh, man, we have to see another replay. Coast was all over Scott. Going to turn three, Coast, I think, just slides up into Scott. But Monaco kept his lane, like, Monaco kept his line. So when Scott just gets forced up into him, it's like, Coast screwed himself over on that one. And then they just keep crashing. Oh, sort of. They all avoid him except for Lemon. I actually feel bad for Monaco because he was actually keeping up with these guys for the most part. He was not pace, but they just coast. I don't know what he was doing to Scott. But it really messed it. I'm surprised everyone avoided him. Oh, what the what? He starts drifting up a bit. What the heck? Something must have broke or something. That was a, that's a weird crash. All right. Here he is, top five. Oh boy. Okay, K now for a header. And yeah, Kanako in the lead. Along with the teammate Himigari, so Yeah, that's a shame. Even though K and Lemon's out, at least his at least his guys are still running top five out there for a moment. As Kanako won the last race at Hill uh the last race here uh, race two at Hillside. Can't speak, sorry. But oh boy, and she's getting passed up by her teammate Himigari. Who's been having a bit, I think having a bit of a rough time. Let's see how she does here. Hanako, despite her win last race, isn't really in the top, isn't even in the top 10 in points. But that's mainly because she was, she wound up dead last in the first race of Daytona. That win did give her quite a boost up in the point standings. She just has to keep up that momentum. I mean, it's only 
race through. I mean, it's still it's race three currently, but you know things will pick up. And you have a Daredevil top three. Would you look at that? Now, he, uh, John, where's John Ryan? He's nowhere to. Oh snap! A lot of activity between these three. Joseph Wilson trying to find a way around these three guys. Trying. To, oh boy, Kukowski gets around him. Wilson gets around. Was able to get around both of them successfully. That was scary to watch. Some double Cropley on pit row. I don't know what happened. Cropley's on pit row, and I'm not sure if pit cycles are now. He must be having some other problem. Yeah, right now it's the Daredevil top three. I don't know what he's. I, I'm not sure what these guys are in points at. I didn't check that bit. But hey, oh man, there's still like 20 laps to go though. There's no guarantee they'll keep this up. They have to. They have to like work together on this one as best they can. Well, you know, I mean, it's, at the end of the day, I mean, it's still a race. But I'm sure that Kane Lemon wants these guys to take care of their stuff. You know, they don't. He, he wouldn't want these guys to go that like hard on each on each other. You know, like save it. You know, he wanted to save. It. Oh snap! Oh snap! Does a spin? Hoax and Taylor, even Murray. Ah, oh, gets a piece of it. Gets into his boss. Even Murray got into his boss for a minute there. Cautions out. Oh, jeez. Hoax must have hit that wall hard. Monaco, a lot of side damage. That must have been from that crash with Coast and Lemon. What on earth happened? Okay, we have to take a look at that. Goes up. Taylor. Oh, Taylor was just aggressive. Oh, my. Taylor's been doing that quite a bit in this race. She went up. I don't know what the what was that. She had a lot of room. <laughs> like, yeah, look at that. He just, yikes. Wiped out. And then Avon Murray trying to go around. Ah, slightly brushes his boss there. That was, yeah, it slows up. Ah, light touch. Hopefully it's nothing. So here's top five. Going to restart. He me going to lead. So it's still, uh. There's a top three here. There's a one, two, three here. John Ryan. That's a lot of DNS. Oh, there's 26 cars left in this race. That's about almost eight cars gone. Fourth is Carlos, and fifth is Wilson. The Dodgers are on a roll. I'm not sure what happened to Perez, but he's a lap down. I guess he pit. I guess he pitted an extra lap or something. He must have had some sort of issue, and he's fourth to three wide already. And at this point, Monaco has quite a bit of damage, and he might get away this time, which might be a concern. Perez is, wow, Perez is fast. Yeah, Perez is fast at least, I'll give him that. Satsuki off to the lead, that might not last long. What's going on here? Four wide, uh-oh, four wide, yep, that, that's not gonna end well. Perez backing off, kind of. Turn three might on it, oh boy, Kanako. Turn three. Oh man, they're holding that at least. Oh, what the? What is there a crash back there? Oh, but there it is. And it's Murray. Rodriguez involved. Gomez. Oh my. That's it. Oh man, that's chaos. Oh. See, I saw a spin and I had to. Oh wow. Bean is already damaged and he's involved. He's driving without a. He's driving without a bumper. Front bumper. DK Wood took his uh, took his bumper off during one of the cautions. Oh no! Okay, let's see a replay. Here's what happened. Rodriguez. Ah, uh, Pearson got into Rodriguez. Oh man, he really forced him up into. Oh no! I don't know what happened to Donuts and Beans. Look at what happened. Yeah, Pearson just forced him up. And he really for wow. Murray know where to go, and then Gomez just slammed in there. Like, what was that? She was in the back of the pack, by the way, like back behind everybody. Yeah, three wide. What was, the heck was going on? That happened. Oh man, they what the heck? Oh, they both slowed him up. The donuts just slid down on the beans. I think DK Wood got a piece of that. This is what happened to Wood. Ah! Uh, oh my! <laughs> what? Oh my gosh, that was close. Alright, top five. Going to restart. We have, uh, it's Sasuke. 
on Wilson, Finale, Carlos, and I think who's who else? Can I, it says Kanako. Oh boy, but she's stuck behind the two lap cars back there. And oh, making easy work. Uh, oh boy, Kano Lemons uh, further back though. See how that goes. Well, Monaco's getting out the way at least. So at least these lap cars, they're not like falling back causing these crashes. At least. I'll give him that one. And oh boy, what the? What was that? Be cool. What the? What happened to Joe? And oh, donuts collected. I. Okay. A lot of the leaders did not catch that flag, so they're going to keep on going. They went yellow beforehand. See how they go here. Going to the line. And it doesn't. Yeah, Sasuke Himigari. Is the leader going back to yell, dude? We cannot get a green flag in. I don't know what happened. Oh my, it's the guys mid pack, man. They're goofing up. What the heck are they doing? Oh man, okay, we'll check the replay on what just happened. Here's the replay on what happened. Oh my, what the heck? Carlson just got up in a John Ryan. Like, I don't know what happened. Ryan was... Oh, okay, you know what? Let's see that again. Dude, Ryan, he's already as high as he can be. Carlson... Oh, jeez. Not sure what went wrong there, but my goodness. And Donuts in another accident. Donuts just can't catch a break in this race. One more view of this. Uh, close to four wipe, not really. And, oh my gosh. That's such a weird accident. Like, I don't know what to say about it. There you go. Let's see Trey Scott. I ah, I got bumped by Scott Taylor, but he was able to avoid it. The whatever this is. Wow. Murray. Oh, careful, Murray. And oh boy, would you? And oh boy, would you look at that? With the time of that last crash and that caution, and the pit cycle as well. Here we go with two laps to go on this restart. Here's the top five, right quick. Himigari's been in the lead these past like 10 laps or so. Can Raul Carlos make the pass and get that win, that second win for Saucy Motorsports, Evan Carlson's team? Finelli in third, fourth is Kanako. Can she go two for two or two for three? I don't know. Wilson fifth. Here we are on the restart. Next flag will end the race. Though it doesn't freeze. Fields are not freezing caution. Fairly clean so far. Can they make it to the white flag? We have to wait and see. Oh boy! Finelli down low! Himigori fell back pretty fast. Finelli to the lead. Kanako right on their tail to the white flag. Can Kanako go two wins in a row? She's trying to do it. Get it past Finelli. Makes it work. She makes it stick. Sasuke Himigari right behind her. And Himigari making a move on the inside. Can she make it stick? It goes like that. Cannot go force him to track. Third double photo finish. To the line. Who's got it? It's Himigari. <laughs> oh my goodness. What a photo finish. Daredevil 1 2. Himigari and Kanako. I did not think Himigari. I, when Himigari. Okay. On that restart, Himigari fell back to like fourth. Coming out like turn two. I thought that was it. Alright, coming out turn four. I thought that was it for her. But somehow Himigari found her groove and made the ultimate comeback. I. Wow. Okay. Well, let's, we're going to have to. Full replay of that restart. Let's check it out. Alright, here's full view. Uh, here's the whole restart. That green went checkered. I, I cannot believe so there's the restart here and she keeps it actually she's in the lead going on turn one though Raul Carlos starts catching him catching her Kanako's right there in fourth bear that in mind so basically it's a battle for like the four cars battle here I don't know what happened to Wilson because he did not have that speed Himigari goes all the way up the track I guess she just didn't want to get forced up the track by these guys and well it paid off going to the final lap because she's able to gather it right up Right back up. There's a battle for fifth going on back there. Carlos falls behind. And she lines up right behind her teammate, Kanako. Kanako, I thought she was going to win here. 
Mahimi Gari finds her groove, gets down on Kanako. Kanako goes up, blocks Finelli. But oh, Kanako could not gather up in time, and look at that photo finish. Oh my gosh, now that might be one of the closest finishes in Traps Pro Series history. I don't know, I don't keep track of uh, how close these finishes are, but that has to be the closest one ever. That was, an, that was amazing. All right, here is slow-mo what just happened. They go to the line. I, I, I thought, I thought Kanako got her there, but it was the angle. That finish, man, is insane. That Daredevil 1-2. Not, don't know where John Ryan is, don't know where Connor Lemon is, but hey, these two were able to stick it out in front for basically this whole race, and they still out of trouble for the most part. The leaders didn't get in that much trouble aside from that one accident involving Joe, I think. So, props to them. I know Kane Lemon's a bit upset about his troubles throughout the race, but I'm sure he's happy to see that his guys were able to were able to pick it up. And actually, that like two wins in a row for Daredevil More Sports. So, you know what? Other than that, overall, it's been a good day for these guys. Now let's, like, without further ado, let's take a look at the results for this race. Alright, here we go. The results for this race is about 10 cars DNF in this race. 10, 11 cars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, 11 cars. A lot of them after headers, apparently. But anyway, uh, out, probably after a header, I guess he had some sort of issues of his own. Not regards to crashing or anything. Anyway, Himigari's the winner. Props to her for that win. That was epic. That has to go down as one of the, like, that's one of the craziest finishes in, like, Track Pro Series history. And there's four seasons worth. Oh, well, three seasons worth, plus these three races, you know. Second is Hana Kanako. And second is Finelli. This will help Finelli in the points standings. He was third going into this. I don't know where points leader Carlson is. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Kukowski in fifth. Josh Lee sixth. Seventh is Brown. Connor Lemon wound up eighth. So you know what? She still finished top ten. John Ryan in eleventh. So I, I was wondering where John Ryan was during this Daredevil Motorsports dominance. Well, he came back to finish eleventh. He was sort of stuck in the middle. He was looking to shuffle in the middle, basically his whole race. And he was able to stay out of trouble. So props to him for that one. Then here we got Steven Waters in 10th. 12th is... Yeah, Steven Waters on his top 10. Wilson fell back to 9th on that suit. Wilson was 5th going on that, uh, in that Greenwood Checker restart. But he just... There was quite a battle going on for 5th behind the leaders. I just wasn't paying attention because, you know, battle for a win. But, yeah, uh, Ryan, Tideman, uh, Taylor wound up 13th after everything. She kind of caused a bit of trouble. Newman wound up 14th. Trey Scott stayed out of trouble. Gearson caused some stuff. DK Wood, despite that, despite the, uh, the hood damage, DK Wood, like, actually, DK Wood, like, his front bumper and hood was gone. Despite that, though, he was able to keep up with these guys. I mean, heck, he's only two seconds, but like, he's close to these guys. Props to him for still being on pace, at least. Joe, 18th. 19th is Carlson. That will hurt Carlson in the... Yeah, yeah that will... That will... That cost Carlson in the points lead, for sure. Especially how close the point standings are. I know Finale passed him in the standings. Uh, Beans in 20th. 21st is Avon Murray, who was on pole. At least he was still able to finish. Like, just considering all the chaos that I didn't see in this race, it's a miracle that Murray... Like, Murray was in like three three different incidents. So it's amazing that he was still able to finish this race. On the lead lap, no less. And in fact, he's the last guy to finish on the lead lap because Donuts is lapped down. So is Perez and Monaco. Monaco, despite the damage he got, was able to stay on pace. So I'll give him that. And then, well, Monaco was the last guy to finish amongst the... Uh, Guys who are still in the race. And yeah, Rodriguez, Gomez, Hoax, Cropley, Bracket. That is not a good day for. Oh my god, that is not a good day for Cropley. Because Tyneman. Tyneman. Okay, I mean, Tyneman finished. Let me look at Cropley right quick. 
Da da da. Who's part of Cropley again? Okay, he's at Toyota's. No, no, no. Highest finishing Cropley guy is tied in 12. I know there's another one. There's five of them. One. Yeah, one. Two, three. Four. Five. Oh my gosh. Tideman was the only guy from Cropley's team to finish the race. And he finished 12. That is not a good day. But you know what? It's only race three. They have about 10 or so races to go. So, Cropley's team, who knows? They could easily turn around. So, I wouldn't worry. Heck, Finelli might have taken over points lead in his third place finish. But even then, that's not a guarantee. Like, we see in the Iron War series that certain guys have seen it collapse. It happens. But anyways, without the way, race four will be at Rockingham. And you guys know, like, and I'm excited because these guys, they race pretty, like, the, the Genesis 7 cars are awesome to watch at Rockingham. Just you wait. But, with that being said, that is it for this one. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and, well, yeah, that's about it.